it's a wonderful day to wander and we're excited that you're coming to hang out with us because Daniel and I have been talking about a topic that we have to fill you in on. We've been out of the Airstream for about a month and a half now since we've been in Spain and there are some things that we really miss and are starting to get really excited about going back to the States. Like our own bed. <sighs> And now that we're considering potentially switching RVs, it really got us thinking. If we're to do it all over again, what are those top five things that we would do right out of the gate? Like to modify our to, rig. To modify, yeah. What are those really those top five favorite things that we've done to our own Airstream that we would do to our next RV, regardless of what manufacturer it was? And that being said, make sure we're gonna go through this list, top five, right? But you've gotta stay around to the end because we have a $2,000 giveaway that we're gonna be doing. And obviously you do not wanna miss this. Now in typical Wander Local fashion, we're gonna be showing you our list while we head out to visit a local pizza shop, specifically called Pizza, pizza local. local. So. I think we've taken you here before in the daily vlogs, but we're kind of obsessed with it. And we ran like mm, pretty solid five miles this morning pretty quickly. So not feeling guilty about pizza. So Daniel, let's jump right in. Now let me preface this list by saying that we will include a link or really five links in the description that links to all the products that we've talked about today because we've shot you know, extensive videos that'll give you so much more detail than today's video. But without further ado, number one, number one, the very first thing we would do no matter what RV we got is we would take it straight to Stunzied and we would get the ceramic coating done to both the interior components and the outside because First off, not all ceramic coatings are created equal, and we learned that lesson in person when John uh, walked us through the process, the multi-stage process, really, to coating everything both inside and out. The one thing we learned about our experience with John is that, you know, he was just so, so, so knowledgeable. Oh, Dash, Dash is, is really into the bubbles. Today. As you can see, oh, there you go. You can kind of see right here. This lady's making these huge bubbles behind us. Um, and Dash is all about it. Look at this. He's loving it. <laughs> He's enamored with the bubbles. Ooh, what do you think, Dash? Dang. Is that awesomeness? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, it was really, uh, back to our list here, really it was about John's attention to detail. Um, he would use like uh, marine ceramic for things like the interior toilets and things like that. I mean, honestly, we didn't even know that you could coat the toilets. He coated his shower, the cabinets, the countertops. Well, it's um, just sweet. So we got our Airstream done inside and uh, interior, or interior and exterior okay. by the dealership. And we love our dealership, but Definitely. it's not their expertise. And so John and his team, they're certified in doing these ceramic coatings. So even if you're not close to the Tampa Bay area, we would highly suggest doing some research and finding someone who is certified in ceramic coatings to do your ceramics. But yeah. if you're in Tampa, that is awesome. Yeah, and I think honestly, the reason we do it, another reason is because, you know, obviously RVs are an investment. And if you can prolong the life of your interior, that's gonna increase your resale value in case you sell it someday. I mean, chances are you probably will sell it because most people don't keep it for the entire duration or life of the RV. So it's nice to know that you have that, you know, additional resale value on day one and you're not going to scuff it up and you're going to have as many scratch marks and things like that. So that is the number one thing that we would do if we bought a new RV today. Number two, I will intro this one because to be honest with you, when Daniel said that he wanted to do this to our Airstream when we first got it, so I was like, this is so dumb. This is like something that you do to a car in the 90s and put a jukebox in the back and bump down the highway. Jukebox, that's a pretty what, big for a car, but, but I totally get it. This stupid 
sound systems that make you sound, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> when Daniel told me he wanted to put boogie lights, aka rainbow lights, underneath the bottom of our airstream, I was like, not in. I was like, this is a goofy thing to do. I mean, I, I can't argue with that. That's exactly what she said. Um, what do you think about them now? Now they are the greatest. They're so smart. They are really, honestly. But and not for the rainbow colored lights portion, which is what Daniel was very excited about. Um, True. The reason underbody lights for your rig is so fantastic is if you're super cleaners and you have absolutely never gotten to a campground late, <laughs> kudos to you. <laughs> We love you and appreciate and respect your skill set, but that is not us. It's not. No, so we're probably going to be late. We're going to be late, and we're going to show up, and it's going to be at night. And nothing is more difficult than setting up your rig in the dark. And they make headlamps, and there are, like, other solutions for this, but I can tell you from experience, those boogie lights, the underbody lighting kit... It's awesome. It's just so much easier. It really, really is. I mean, the fact that you can just pull up to a campsite at night and you just flip the light on and you can turn it to any color, but obviously if you're setting up at night, you're going to use white. the white, right? Yeah. Um, you can set up your outside, uh, you know, chairs and all that other stuff at night. Obviously your full, your hookups, your it's power hookups and water. It's make it a big game changer. It, it really, really is because, you know, you can obviously hook up your, or set out your, um, chairs and tables and stuff like that in the morning but um you know when it's all lit up at night like that it's pretty easy because you can see so so much um not only that i will be honest though it's got the two stage i got the two stage uh, add-on where you can have like one color on one side and one color on the other i have used green and red for christmas and i've gone with like red white and blue variations for fourth of july so i mean that's kind of fun um there's a not lightning functional. mode it's not Doesn't functional matter. And we're not those people that, like, uh, are going to pull up to a campsite at night and just hit, like, the strobe lights, like, oomch, 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 and just annoy the crap out of our neighbors. We hardly ever use them, but when we do, it's because there's, you know, the Rove campers is having a party or it's a holiday or something like that. Um, and it does make it, like, at night when you're coming back home to the Airstream and it's after dark. It makes yeah. it easier to see it, which is cool. So there are a lot of really big benefits of having the underbody lighting. That's right. And actually certain colors can be rodent deterrents, which is really, really cool too. So if you're boondocking, um, obviously if you're boondocking in a beautiful place and there's, you know, under a, a, a you know, sky of stars, you don't want to have too, any lights on. But um, if you're, let's just say, for instance, uh, staying at a harvest host, um, certain color, I believe it's red is a rodent deterrent, things like that. So uh, don't quote me on that but another cool advantage to having underbody lights. Are you excited about the Dash has taken his favorite uh, echo pastime and whenever we're going down like a, an alleyway and he can hear himself, this is what he does. <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest with you, number three, we did not even know existed. When we originally went to Sunseed, it was to get graphics, the wrap we have on our Airstream, um, and that's it. But John, the owner, is also an Airstream owner, and he introduced us to something that really was a game changer, especially on hot days. And that is our number three modification, which is 3M window film. So basically it's the idea that like you can tint the windows on your car, you tint the windows on your rig. But within the last couple of years, they've come up with this really cool type of tint that actually blocks the heat from coming in. And nothing is worse than a hot day in your rig where you cannot keep that thing cool enough. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether you have one AC unit or two, or sometimes even three, if it's 90 degrees outside, those AC units are on the struggle bus. They're just not built for it. It really isn't. Yeah. So we, we added soft starts to our AC mm -hmm. to help them with that. But true story, this tint on our windows on the Airstream, it made a massive difference. And we went, we had experiences and we've got videos on this. So I'll add that in the link here or 
here, here, wherever that's supposed to go. Um, but it was in the high 90s, 100 degrees. And was it like 60 in the Airstream? No, but it made a huge difference compared to when we didn't have it in there. It was, it was bearable. It really was. And I think the biggest advantage is that it doesn't uh, strain your air conditioning units as much, yeah. which means you're going to prolong the life of your air conditioning units. Um, so there's so many added value points to having this. I think it's a 3M sort of crystalline type film. Not exactly sure of the specifics. Um, but honestly, one of the really cool things that John did to show us is that he had a heat lamp and he walked us through like your typical window tint. Like this is not the window tint that you get, you know, at your corner store. Um, you can feel the heat through a typical window tint. But what he did was he had that hot lamp and you could put your hand right up to the, the window or the film and hardly any heat was coming through. Yeah, and you can really tell the difference. It's pretty amazing. But it's like been Daniel a huge said, difference. Details, not really our jam. That's true. But we do have a full video on this, which is really cool. That's true. So that is our number three must-have mod, no matter what RV we get next. That's just saying, let's get pizza! <laughs> Gracias. Oh yeah, Barada Dash is pumped. Number quattro four. So this is one that I feel so passionate about. If you watched one of our last videos where we talked about what we're thinking about getting for our new rig, it probably stood out to you that we talked a lot about how much we are in love with the minimalistic lifestyle. Nothing has reminded us more than that about being here in Europe. So one of the things about a minimalistic lifestyle is organization. Early on we met Siamara from Lily's Organizing and she helped us create a fully customized organization system in our Airstream and no matter what rig we're doing moving forward we are going to be doing the exact same thing. New custom organization system because when you live tiny having everything have a home is so critical to not spending all of your time simply picking up stuff. Let's be honest, even if we had a mega mansion, we would probably still call her in to help us organize because it's that impactful. Two things with organization, time and money. It not only saved us time from no longer picking up on a regular basis, but like the grocery thing is a huge so example true. where it saved me at least $100 a week with groceries because I had a system where groceries were organized in the Airstream and I actually knew what was in my pantry and in my refrigerator. So I stopped over buying and it saved me money, which was amazing. I so mean, honestly, before we had the organization, we were just randomly buying stuff. 100%. And I swear we had like three garlic powders and we would just buy like doubles of things because we didn't know we had like certain items mm -hmm. in our pantry. And we are in a very small space. So you can only imagine that if you're in a much bigger space, it's just amplified. Don't even get me started on the fact that CMR asked us if we would want to eat at a restaurant that didn't clean out their refrigerator on a weekly basis. <laughs> oh, gross, no, why would you do that at home? Like, Yeah, but not only that, let's not overlook the fact that uh, her hubby Frank helped to create some custom uh, closet organizational like shelving yeah. that was huge. Game I think changer. it's definitely one of my absolutely favorite modifications that we made to the Airstream, yep. no question. So organization, 100% happening in our new rig. Oh, look at that. 
Para que nunca amanezca Just to clarify, Laura and I were just talking about this. It's kind of elephant in the room for this one video. If this is the first time you're seeing us, you're probably wondering about the backdrop here. No, we're not in an RV right now. We are visiting Barcelona. We're on vacation. Um, but that got us really thinking about all of the RV space stuff. So thus this video. And we are shooting daily vlogs. So if you really enjoy this video, make sure you take, check out our daily vlogs. We're dropping new videos every day and you never really know what we're gonna get into. Sometimes it's absolute madness. Make sure you subscribe. Do you really get to call it a vacation if we're here for like two and a half months? Uh, yes. <laughs> Unless we live here, it is a vacation. I feel like we're always on vacation now. Maybe. Number five on our list is probably our favorite. And let me just start by saying I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. Well, first, let's talk about the fact that as much as we love Barcelona, we are not in love with our mattress here. It's so bad. It is, it is, I it's don't- It's an Airbnb It's mattress. an Airbnb, yeah, and you never really know what kind of mattress you're gonna get, you know? Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good. Dash- Has an opinion. Has an opinion about the mattress as well. Um, when we first got our Airstream, it was manageable, our RV mattress. Well, it was um, a stock one. It was a stock mattress, and a lot of, you know, the, in the manufacturer's offense, they make a one-size-fits-all mattress solution, and that's what you get when you buy an RV. And I mean, um, mattresses really shouldn't be one-size-fits-all for all humans. No, and I feel like our mattress is one-size-fits-none. I mean, it wasn't really all that great. I was complaining about back pain. Um, I was moaning a lot like Dash was every morning, you know, and um, and we heard <laughs> and we heard about. <laughs> RV mattresses and specifically in upgrading and we did and it was honestly a game changer for us. Well and we didn't just <laughs> hook up with Brooklyn Bedding because of sponsorship opportunities. No. We had multiple friends who told us that they had gotten a Brooklyn Bedding bed, RVmattress.com, that they freaking uh, loved it. So obviously when we started talking to them about it we were like well, we were 100% excited about giving it a shot. Here are a couple of amazing things about Brooklyn Bedding. One, you have 120 nights to test out the mattress. Which we absolutely did because we were not about to tell you guys about a mattress that we were not fully sold on ourselves. We will never promote a product room that we don't believe in. Um, so we literally took it, like she said, to, to the max. The, <laughs> to the max. Um, and we definitely loved it. So that was a plus. Um, number two. They're made in America. Exactly, exactly, and we're all about that. Uh, number three is that it came delivered to our campground in just a handful of days, which is incredible. Number four thing that we loved about it is that they gave us a 25% off discount code for you all to use as well. So let's just say, for instance, the mattresses, a thousand. Well, that's 250 bucks off right there just all like that. All you have that. to do is throw in that code Wander Local. Exactly. Now number five which is the biggest thing of all. They gave us a mattress to give to you. Right that's valued up to two thousand dollars. Which mattress you choose? We don't care. It's your mattress. It's your RV mattress. So Dino tell everybody how do you sign up to win the mattress? 
There's gonna be links in our social media posts. There's gonna be links in the description below. And there's gonna be lots of ways that you can generate lots of different entries. For instance, just by subscribing, bam, entry. Ooh la la. If you go to our Instagram page and you subscribe, guess what? Bam, entry number two. You mean if you follow our Instagram page? That's right, yeah, yeah. Follow on Instagram, subscribe on Google. There's lots of different ways, but the link below will we'll outline all the, all the ways that you can rack up entries. So think about it. If you're someone who clicks through all the different entries and you rack up like 20 different entries, well then. You got some good odds. You've got some good odds to win a $2,000 mattress. So don't miss out on that opportunity. Long story short, we're pretty pumped about changing out our rig. And these five things are going to be an absolute requirement for making that a functional rig for us moving forward. 100%, literally, it doesn't matter which rig we get. These five upgrades, no brainer. Solid, but there you go. So make sure you check out the description, find out all the details on how you can win the mattress. But until then, friend, make sure you wander local this week. Because as you know, it's good for the soul. It's good for the soul. Go right, baby Dash. <laughs> And Dash smiles. It's good ah, for Dash smiles. Yay. <laughs> See you tomorrow, friend.